I'm researching a form of non-invasive brain stimulation called transcranial magnetic stimulation. So we have these copper wires which we place over somebody's head and we pass a really, really quick current through those wires. Now that doesn't touch them at all, but what it does do is it creates a magnetic field which then passes down across the skull and passes into the brain. And what that does is it then creates a really tiny little electric current um, on anything that conducts electricity. And the brain's a fantastic uh, conductor. So then any neurons or brain cells that are in the vicinity of that electric current, they then fire in relation to the, the stimulation. So what we can do is if we just give a single pulse, we can just activate the brain. But the cool thing is, is if we give pulses in patterns that kind of resemble what the brain normally does, we can actually induce what's called neuroplasticity, which is a natural process in the brain that allows it to rewire itself and change the way that it's, it's organised. In terms of um, its clinical use, we know that it works quite well for people with depression, but the issue at the moment is that it only works in about 30% of people. So what we're trying to understand is, is why that's the case. It's, it's really powerful from multiple different angles, both from research and, and basic research and understanding how the brain works, right through to being able to try and help people where the brain maybe isn't working so well uh, to try and get it back on track.